Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Icon Moments Cannavaro to review today. I believe this guy costs a solid 20 Icon swaps to unlock him because I think my boy unlocked him today and ended up getting this card. And uh, it should be an interesting one to review because some people are doing the comparison between this Maldini card that you get at 15 Icon swaps or I think it's 14 or 13, something like that. And this Cannavaro one that's at 20 Icon swaps. Now, I think this guy is going to be a transitioning beast. Whether or not his height actually affects his performances in-game in is a different situation. My boy, I don't know what chemistry style he gave him, but I can tell you this right now. It's probably not worth giving him that, potentially, right? Because of specific stats, it would be better if you increase, right? So with this card, guys, we're looking at a player who is five foot nine, medium-high work rates with two-star skill moves and a three-star weak foot. So the two important things to take into consideration is the three main defensive stats and the medium-high work rate. So he has the pace, he has the defense, and he has the physical, right? So let's take a look at the actual card stats. He has... 97 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. Oh, that's why he gives him that card. Okay, you know what? You know what? Uh, I would probably... Uh, I mean, that's a tough one, actually. You're going to improve his passing, but those passing stats are super irrelevant to boost. I don't know, man. I think I would just give him an anchor, if I'm being honest with you. Because... I wish that Maldini card had 87 acceleration with 86 sprint speed because then the anchor chemistry style would be gorgeous on that card. But I'm thinking that with the anchor chemistry style, boosting his aggression by a plus 10 and his strength by a plus 5 would be probably a more ideal situation. But regardless, the chemistry style that he gave him is 97 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. Dribbling stats are already really good with the card, except for the fact that his main dribbling stat has 63 dribbling, which isn't ideal. 86 composure is really nice. My thing with this card is that I feel like his agility and balance is going to compensate for his dribbling because and only because his height is five foot nine, right? So a big thing to take into consideration with this card in your team. Defensive stats, he's already basically perfect at it, which I understand why he doesn't give him the anchor. But I just think that maybe if you give him the extra physical presence, it would be nice. But then at the same time, if you give them the, the acceleration sprint speed boost, it'd also be better. It's a very tough situation, I would say. Uh, I just don't think the passing is necessarily that crazy noticeable because the stats are so insignificant anyways, right? Like you're boosting curve, short passing, crossing, vision. Like it's it's just one, it's a weird thing. I'm going to take a look at the card on Footbin afterwards. But regardless, I want to see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a monster. Who knows, right? Um, the custom tactics that we will be using is going to be the basic 4-2-3-1. We'll try it out with high depth because with that chemistry style that he has, I want to see how aggressive he is kind of like pushing forward. We'll do fast build up for the 4-2-3-1 as well. Um, my boy can switch this afterwards because he watches all the videos because he's a beast. Um, and we'll use him in the right center back position. I think, that, I think that'd be okay if I'm being completely honest. I think that would be all right. And then the instructions will have him on just regular stay back while attacking. He has conservative interceptions on him. That's like interesting. I would just have it on normal interceptions because that's going to be the whole thing with this card, right? Is that aggressive defending that he has. I don't think that this card is going to be as good as last year. Or was it last year or two years ago? There's one year where he was just like really, really good. And he surprised the hell of me. His height wasn't really that big of a deal. Maybe he does that again. Who knows, right? We're going to tell these guys to be on balanced. Actually, we'll tell them to join the attack so they could commit a little bit, right? Um, even overlap if I really need to. Because that'll be a good way to test out the cards and how they move together. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, we'll use it just like that for one. And then the 3 4 one, two, we'll go ahead and use Cannavaro in the middle. And we'll see how he defends in that position as well. So, let's get into a game, see how he plays. I think uh, it's, a, it's a very strange card in regards to chemistry styles. Uh, before I even go into the game, I was going to check this afterwards, but I'm really curious to see what people gave him because I would, I would say Guardian, but 87 acceleration, 86 sprint speed is still a little annoying. You know, it's one of those things. Let me see what, um, let me see what the cost of this actual card is right here. So it's the Icon Women's Cannavaro card, and he, people have decided to give him an engine chemistry style. You know what? 
engine chemistry style makes way more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the engine chemistry style definitely makes the most sense, for sure. Because of the balance and agility boost that he gets, as well as his general dribbling stat increases, he gets to 92 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. John, I love you, but this chemistry style doesn't make any sense, in my opinion. I'm going to switch this. He's going to forgive me, because, because you know, the guy's the guy, you know? He's the guy. Uh, we're going to switch him to, to engine in-game, because I, do f I, I don't want to test him on 97 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. I need to test him on the 92, 91, like the, around that general area, you know? No, you know what? We'll test them out with the pace. I'm going to see if I need that pace. I'm going to see if it's like a noticeable thing. That's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to test with this card. Let's get into a game and see if he's good. Absolutely looking forward to this one. I think if we get a, a nice shot... All right, so we'll switch to our 4-2-3-1. Let's see how he plays. I kind of want to test out his dribbling right off the bat. That's the biggest thing I want to see with this card. Nah, he needs that engine, man. Yeah, he needs that engine. If I'm going to give him a card, guys, it has to be the engine chemistry style. Like, regardless of that pace increase, right, I think the 91 acceleration with 92 sprint speed is going to be enough, to be honest with you guys. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to say right off the bat for sure. Ooh, nice pass initially. That's not bad. Again, with the engine chemistry style, those parts right there are going to be very helpful to have that nice little composed passing with him. Um... His height, if you take a look at him in-game, it's it's noticeably shorter than someone like Sergio Ramos, but it doesn't feel like significant enough for me to really care about it. I will say right off the bat that I really want the engine chemistry style on him, for sure. I don't know why I'd even think of that, to be honest with you. Marking was a little bit off right there in regards to him marking with Sergio Ramos. I actually... I, I need to test him out with the... Uh, it's just one of those things. I need to leave this game. I have to test him out with the engine because... I feel like the thing about the chemistry style that my boy has, it just feels like a waste, you know? I had to do it, guys. I had to do it. I, like, after seeing what the engine chemistry style can do to his balance, as well as his agility, like, dude, you guys need to understand that dribbling stat that he has that's super low, it's so noticeable. Like, literally, you cannot try this card out without an engine. I, there's no way I was going to play that game without this chemistry style it just wouldn't have made sense because look plus 10 for the dribbling a plus 10 for the balance a plus 5 for the agility that should play better with his five foot nine let's see if that's a little better dribbling wise all right back to attacking i need to get the ball at his feet because i need to test this out oh way better way better you still notice the dribbling being low yeah, you need an engine on him. Oh, my God. No, it was, like, I don't even know how my boy used it without the engine chemistry style. It's, it's just, in my opinion, it just doesn't even feel usable without it. Okay, we should be over committing like crazy right here. Let's see how you move with my fullback like this. Okay. Sticks of, sticks of Serge Ramos, okay. Nothing too crazy. Vidal, obviously, being the base, the beast that he is. I really don't think this card's going to be that special. Can I explain to you guys why I don't think this card's going to be that special in regards to choosing him out of all the icon swaps? It's because of the way that they adjusted the moving left and right um, with the shielding, like the, the, the transitioning, right, with the players. Um, because they have adjusted it a certain way, a lot of players that have, like, just base of, like, 70 agility, 70 balance, you know, like... They already can move left and right really quickly, right? The reason why Cannavaro was so good during that one year was because that change wasn't implemented for most of the cards anyways. And obviously with this card, like for this year, it doesn't really make as much sense because that mechanic is a new thing now, right? So that's what I'm getting so far from using this card in regards to the movement that he has. I feel like his height is going to be... A problem for me personally like the transitioning is not going to matter because most of the players with the 70 and 70 around that area with balance and agility they they're already going to move nicely you know even 60 and 60 because i think rio ferdinand doesn't even have like crazy agility and balance but he still moves around like a beast it just depends like you have to try the cards sometimes like their body type in game is really sluggish right like chris mulling has a sluggish body type rio ferdinand in game Regardless of his agility and balance, does not feel like he has a sluggish body type. Carnavaro is the same. He doesn't feel like he has a sluggish body type. But I just feel like his height is not necessarily ideal. Initial thoughts. We're going to keep using him, though. 
Like, even his dribbling, like, it just, it doesn't really feel special, you know what I'm saying? With the engine chemistry style, it definitely helps it, but I feel like the dribbling, like, the main dribbling stat that he has being low is being super, super heavily, uh, heavily, see it's being seen. Like, you can definitely see it. Okay, good. So, we're going to get into a situation here when we're defending with Sergio Ramos. Probably going to shoot that across goal. Canavaro starts blocking, and he keeps blocking the guy there, in all fairness. Um, he's also fast enough to get into that situation where he does continue to block him. So, a decent situation there. We're going to try another one over here. Sergio Ramos blocks with Canavaro. Canavaro is playing off of the back line really nicely. Fullback wasn't in position, so obviously defensive awareness with this card. He went into position instantly, and he lingers in that right center back position really nicely, in all fairness to him, right? So, not too bad so far. <laughs> I used manual goalkeeping. I thought I was going to shoot across the goal right there. Oh, messy, messy, messy. This card's dribbling. is just so ridiculous. Okay. He marks the guy at the top the entire time perfectly. Sticks in his foot there. But you can see height was influenced a tiny bit. He was behind. He was behind. And without me actually using the card, he still defended okay in that situation, in all fairness. Dude, flashback with Dahl is crazy. Okay, let's go use him this time. I mean, his transition is good. It's it's an obvious thing that it's good for sure. Obviously, if you have more agility and balance, like you're gonna still transition better than players with 70 and 70. I'm just saying that because of the new way that they uh, use the L trigger shield, or not the L trigger, it's the the jockey system essentially, right? Because they improved it so much for players that don't really have crazy agility and balance, right? It's it doesn't make them special if that makes any sense, you know? Like this Sergio Ramos, like this Sergio Ramos moments card is just freaking amazing to use. In all fairness, like he's an incredible center back, especially on that seven chem for shadow. I just don't think I'm gonna get that out of Canavaro. In all fairness, again, guys, I don't necessarily have a problem with this card. I think he'll play really well on your team, right? The the comparison that I tried to make in regards to the value that he offers is that I don't think he's worth. I believe it is the 20 icon swaps you have to get this card for, right? It's the same It's the same situation with, like, Zidane. Like, Zidane's not worth all the icon swaps for this for this whole season of the icon swaps. It's just It just isn't, right? Um, if I were to pack him, though, I would definitely use him in a team because he's good, right? I, I can tell you, when I do these player reviews for these specific cards, I'm telling you the value of the icon swaps you have to give for the player, right? But then, at the end of the video, I'll tell you his actual qualities in game. And his actual qualities is good. Honestly, the only thing that's really bothering me about the card is the height. The height in the center back position is not ideal. It's the same thing with like Espeliqueta, right? Espeliqueta didn't feel as good defensively as Canavaro, that's for sure. But Canavaro, it's, it's literally just the height right now. Okay guys, so with this player review, we're gonna be talking about the quality that Canavaro offers in game. If you guys give him an engine chemistry style, you are gonna be looking at a more usable center back because of the fact that he already has decent physical capabilities, really good defensive capabilities, and you're gonna be improving his passing, dribbling, as well as his pace with the engine chemistry style. There's literally no other card you can give this card but the engine chemistry style because it's just not worth the extra plus five acceleration, plus five sprint speed, because there was never a time where I'm like, wow, I really wanted the, the, uh, the extra pace here on this card. He's not a bad card. He's not a bad card, right? But when you're taking a look at the fact that you want to get 20 icon swaps for him, right? It's not worth it in regards to that, right? Because the thing about icon swaps is that what I've noticed recently is that most of the time it's actually better to choose the option that gives you two different options, right? Where it's like, I don't know, like let's just say for this season you get icon swap pack or you get the icon pack, right? Which I got Rio Fernand, I got lucky obviously. And then the second one you either get Maldini, Kaká, maybe you get Overmars or something, right? It always seems like it's better to just go with the two options because the full option, right? If you go for one specific player, it always feels like it's more worth it when it's for sentimental value so far. There hasn't really been cards where I'm like, wow, like I really want to grind all 20, 24 to get this card. Now, if you were going to make the comparison between Maldini and Cannavaro, both at I think it's like 13 icon swaps, right? And you're going to have to choose as your second icon swap if you want to get this card or not. I would still go with Maldini, regardless of the lack of physical that Maldini lacks in certain air areas, he still has a bigger body type in game, and if I gave him a Shadow Chemistry style, he would actually be really fast in game with essentially perfect defending, right? And I feel like that makes a really, really big difference on the card, so if I'm going to be comparing it in regards to that, that's what I would say. 
again, the only thing Cannavaro lacks in the game is height. Because the reason why his 5'9 height was so good during that one year, whether it was last year or whether it was the year before that, again, was because they didn't implement that jockey system yet, where those players just moved left and right more responsibly. You guys know they always talked about how... Um, oh, the defenders feel more responsive moving left and right. That was a new thing that they added to the game. That's why people like get annoyed at the defending because of the inconsistent gameplay, making defending overpowered, right? I love the new jockey system. It's just that it's better when the gameplay always feels good because it's harder to pass defenders with the jockey system being so good when the gameplay feels poor, right? So that's what made this card special at the time was because his agility and balance was so high with his height that he just moved left and right super fast before that implementation but because you know it, it this whole thing exists nowadays for me it just doesn't feel like it's worth getting this card right especially at the price that he offers now i've seen good things about Cannavaro. a lot of people really like this card i personally don't again fifa is all about opinions i don't think he's a terrible card i can see someone still doing absolute work with him I just feel like the height is a problem, right? In regards to the quality that he offers in game. I don't think he's worth the price. I don't think he's worth the icon swaps, but he's still incredibly usable in game. And it's an icon, it's the best version of his card. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.